I'm going to give you a topic, and I'd like you to talk about it for one to two minutes. Before you talk, you have one minute to think about what you're going to say. You can make some notes if you wish. Here's a pencil and some paper for making notes. Here's your topic on this task card. I'd like you to describe a close friend of yours. Can you start speaking now, please? I have this friend called Gina. We're really close, and she is the funniest person I know. She likes to crack jokes like a comedian. Gina is someone who is as bold as brass and is never afraid to speak her mind. Though her confidence can make her lose sight of what's more important than winning an argument or two, she makes up for it with her optimism. She tries her best to find a silver lining in every situation. Her optimism is really infectious. I met Gina at a friend's birthday party last year in May. We bumped into each other in the washroom. Although there was some awkward silence at first, she struck up a conversation with me, and we hit it off instantly. We liked the same music, the same books, and even the same TV shows. From that night onwards, we were joined at the hip. I usually meet up with Gina whenever we're both free. She's quite busy due to work, but we always make time to hang out. Every Friday night, we schedule a movie night, but sometimes we go out for a nice dinner and karaoke. I consider Gina one of my closest friends because we've been through thick and thin despite knowing each other for such a short time. Even though at times we don't see things eye to eye, we got each other's backs when things get tough. I'm forever grateful to have Gina by my side. Can I have the task card back, please? Thank you. We've been talking about friendship. I'd like to discuss with you one or two more general questions relating to this. Let's talk about a good friend. What qualities make a good friend? Well, I feel that whatever qualifies a good friend depends on the person. Personally, honesty is one of the few qualities I value in a person. It means a lot to me when my friends and I are open with each other, and I believe it's a sign that they're trustworthy. Another quality that I think makes a good friend would be their reliability. When you're in trouble, it's reassuring to know that there's someone you can count on. That's how I tell my real friends and fair weather friends apart. How can we maintain friendships? I believe the key to maintaining friendships would be making time for them. Grabbing a cup of coffee with them, or sending a simple text message, are some of the possible ways to do that. I think it shows that we are willing to put in the effort to stay connected to them. Another good way to stay in touch with our friends would be to show our appreciation to them however we can. I think simple acts like saying thank you or listening to them are great ways to do that. They let them know that they are on our minds. What's the best time to make friends? The best occasion to make friends is probably during high school or college, in my opinion. There are a lot of opportunities for us to make friends when we are at school. Joining clubs, doing group projects, and attending school events are great ways to find people that you have a lot in common. It's also consoling when you get older, and you realize that your friendships with your high school classmates have withstood the test of time. Do you think it is important to have close friendships? Certainly. Close friendships are important on many levels. On the surface level, having close friends are important when we need help. They're always there to give us a helping hand whenever we need it. On a deeper level, they provide the encouragement and support we need to keep going. We're able to find solace in their presence when we're feeling blue, and they'll make sure that we keep our spirits up if we are feeling down. Do you think the internet is a good place to make friends? Frankly speaking, not really. I think it's quite the opposite, especially when you've never met them face to face. It's very easy for netizens to lie through their teeth. From my perspective, I think the likelihood of getting catfished is quite high. If you're seeking friends that are genuine and honest, I don't believe that the internet is the right place to find them. 
How can technology help strengthen friendships? Technology can help strengthen our connections with others in many ways. It allows us to keep in touch with others no matter where we are. We can simply FaceTime them or give them a call whenever you miss them. Apart from that, social media is a great way to bonding with others. Apps like Instagram and Facebook let us keep each other posted on our day-to-day -day lives, so we're kept in the loop of our social circle. Thank you very much. That's the end of the speaking test.